Tired of the Clintons running for office? Tough luck for you. The press is already propagandizing on behalf of the inevitable Chelsea Clinton campaign for something. This very night, Variety magazine is naming Chelsea, quote, an impact honoree at their annual Power of Women dinner in New York. So for good measure, they also slapped her on the cover of their magazine. Besides being very fortunate in her choice of parents, why does Chelsea warrant such an award? Ramin Satuta is Variety's New York bureau chief. He interviewed Chelsea and he joins us tonight. Ramin, Dr. thanks a lot for coming on. Thank you for having me on. Just two quick corrections. First yeah. of all, it's not a dinner, it's a lunch. Uh -huh. And second, it's not a lifetime award. It's an award that is in partnership with Lifetime, the network. And uh -huh. so there's some confusion on the internet. So I'm, I'm thankful for the ability to be able to correct it on your show. But it's not well, sure, a lifetime I, award. Chelsea I Clinton is that. 37 years old, and so we're not giving her a lifetime award. Yeah, I mean, no doubt you will. But th these things take why time. Why would so we give her a lifetime award <laughs> at 37? Why are you giving her this award? <laughs> That's what, why? I mean, look, I'm open-minded. But why are you giving her this award? What has she done to warrant it and the magazine cover? So in order to answer that question, I just need to provide your viewers with some context. Every spring, Variety hosts a Power of Women luncheon. Uh -huh. And we select women who we think should be honored for using their influence to shine a spotlight on charitable organizations that do yeah. good in the world. Last year, we had your colleague, your former colleague, Megan Kelly, as one of our honorees on the cover of Variety. You. And this year, in addition to Chelsea Clinton, we have other women, including Jessica Chastain, Blake Lively, Gail King, and other women who have used their power to shed light on an important cause. But you're, you're making my exact point. So Megan Kelly's from upstate New York. Everything she has, she made herself. A lot, that is also true of a lot of those other women. And mm -hmm. whether you agree with their politics or not, you know, they did a lot. Chelsea Clinton, I just looked this up. She's been a documentary filmmaker. She worked at a hedge fund. She's a producer she a for documentary film. Right. Yeah. She had a paying gig on the Today Show. She's now a professor at an Ivy League college. Has she hit 18 holes in one? I mean, I guess the point is her very life seems like an insult to the idea of the meritocracy because she got all of that because of her parents. Isn't that a little embarrassing? I, I I'm don't, not attacking her. I'm just being honest. You're saying that her life is an insult because she was born to a prominent family? That I'm seems like to, a very strange thing to say, Tucker. No, I'm saying you get a job at a hedge fund, you get a big gig on morning television, you become an Ivy League professor, you become a documentary film producer, whatever that is, and it's like those things are not connected in any way. Those are very different skill sets. So unless she's like a genius in all of them, then this is just nepotism, and it's insulting to it's all the people not, trying to make it in this It's not world. nepotism. We're, honoring, we're actually honoring Chelsea for her work with an organization called the Alliance for a Healthier Generation. And regardless of your political affiliation, whether if you're a Republican or a Democrat, right. this organization does a lot of good. It helps fight childhood obesity, and Chelsea is very involved in this cause. And I've spoken to members of uh, the board of directors of this organization. I've spoken to, to kids who have benefited from this organization. And Chelsea works very hard with this organization to fight childhood obesity, which is a problem in many of our schools. No, and, and, and look, and I don't want to be mean to Chelsea, and I certainly don't. I have well, I'm glad to hear that. For, I, do, I mean it, and I don't want I'm to be glad, mean to I'm you I'm genuinely either. glad to hear that. But every once in a while, I do an interview that feels a little too soft, and I think, oh, was that a suck-up interview? I don't know. Like with the president? It, yeah, no, I didn't actually suck up to the president. <laughs> no, no, there have been okay. other people I have, and I felt bad. I read your interview with her. It was like, this needs to be in the museum, in the, like, the suck-up display. Was it frustrating to see the foundation attacked? Where does your empowerment come from? I just felt like, come on. Why is Chelsea You're Clinton reading seen? questions out of context. If I went back and I read questions that you asked the president, who is a very powerful man, yeah. I, could, I could flip that on you. But if you... But, at the same time, well, no, Chelsea I mean, Clinton isn't. Chelsea Clinton actually, isn't. I asked her real questions too. If you read the story on Variety.com, you'll see there are yeah, real no, questions in there. But Chelsea Clinton isn't a politician. She's she's a, a private person with very public parents, and she's using her platform and her status to do good in the world. And that's what our issue celebrates, and that's what our luncheon celebrates on Friday. And I would hope. I don't know if you're here in New York or you're going to be in D.C., but if you'd like to come and you'd like to learn more about the event. You're very welcome to come. We'd like to extend an well, invitation so for nice. you to come. Well, that's so nice. Just at it, I would definitely overeat, for sure, and that would be ironic, among other things, at a childhood obesity luncheon. Um, but let me, just, let me just get back to really quick the question I asked you a minute ago. Mm -hmm. If you're just like someone with no connections at all, and you're from the middle of the country, you don't know anybody, and you look up and you see someone who's getting all like the fruits of our society handed to her, don't you feel a little bit like this is a rigged system? A little bit? Really? A hedge fund manager and a college professor? and a morning show person, and a documentary film producer, right? Do you see what I'm saying or no? I see what you're saying, but I think what you're saying doesn't apply to 
Democrats or Republicans. I'm this not making is something a political point. I, it's not a political point, but, but you could make the argument for any child of any politician. And there are children of politicians who have gone on to have TV careers and have been successful. And I think they've worked hard to be able to do that. And other children, just, uh, politicians choose different routes. And so what we're saying is Chelsea Clinton has used her influence for good causes, and we'd like to celebrate that. All right, Ramin, I'll see you at lunch on Friday. Great. We look forward be, to it, Tucker. I'll be there with the bib. Thank Thanks. you very much.